As polished or hilarious as a movie script might be, it usually pays to let talented actors flex their muscles in front of the camera. Whether it's on-the-spot jokes or in-the-moment drama and action, the most memorable movie moments come when the script is tossed out the window. Here are 20 amazing unscripted movie moments. The Avengers As witty as writer-director Joss Whedon was when it came to the script of The Avengers, Robert Downey Jr. did him one better. When the script called for Iron Man to call Thor Shakespeare in the park, Downey got the idea. Uh, Shakespeare in the park? Does mother know you wear as her drapes? Delivering one of the movie's biggest laughs right off the top of his head. X-Men Hugh Jackman may have been called in to play a live-action Wolverine at the last minute, but he made his mark on the cast immediately. While filming his first scenes in Xavier's mansion, he decided to take an unscripted shot at Professor X. What do they call you? Wheels? <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. They probably knew then that he already had Logan's character perfectly formed. The Amazing Spider-Man there's no limit to Emma Stone's charm, which means that even when she accidentally calls her superhero boyfriend by his real name, the cameras keep rolling. She was supposed to say Spider-Man, but her reaction was completely genuine and perfect for the character. Edge of Tomorrow There isn't much time for romance when aliens are slaughtering Tom Cruise day after day, but when his co-star Emily Blunt decided that forgetting her line and just kissing him instead felt like the right move for the scene, he was left to react as best he could. It worked out as the cut was used for the finished movie. Top Gun Tom Cruise doesn't just get kissed without warning either, but it started by accident. When Cruise and his co-star Kelly McGillis faced off on the street, he actually forgot his line and kissed her instead. The perfect way to go from hate to love. Mr. and Mrs. Smith Strange things happen when the same scene is shot over and over and over again. But when Angelina Jolie had the same Jeopardy clip drilled into her brain, she couldn't help but blurt out the answer in between her lines. And that's just the kind of random moment directors can't help but include in the final cut. The Matrix Keanu Reeves put in the work to master martial arts for his role as the one, with Bruce Lee as an obvious idol. So when the sparring session allowed Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne to loosen up, Reeves couldn't help but throw in Lee's patented nose flick, even though it wasn't in the script. Pulp Fiction When an actor like Samuel L. Jackson decides to improvise, other actors just try to keep up. After delivering his hamburger monologue in his first Pulp Fiction scene, Jackson decided to flip a table without warning the actor sitting at it. The move was brilliant and audiences still get to see the stunned, completely honest reactions. Fast and Furious Brian O'Connor got a rough welcome to Dominic Toretto's gang, first tangling with his friend Vince over Dom's sister Mia. After some rough fight choreography didn't go as expected, director Rob Cohen told the actors to just, well, fight. What you see in the film is a completely improvised street fight, and it shows. Guardians of the Galaxy The first fans saw of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy was the criminal's arrest and lineup and the scene summed up each character pretty well. It was Star-Lord's finger-cranking that got the biggest laugh, and was thought of by Pratt completely on the spot. Director James Gunn told him to add an apology, and the bit was complete. Speed It's still hard to imagine Keanu Reeves' jump from Bill and Ted to a certified action star in Speed, and director Jan de Bont knew that audiences might not realize the movie's hero was as smart as he was. Needing to show that Officer Jack Traven was thinking through his problem, a pack of gum became the answer. Chewing means thinking after all, and it actually worked. End of Watch Nothing shows a vulnerable side to a character like singing in their car. And in End of Watch, audiences got to see Jake Gyllenhaal and Anna Kendrick's characters make a duet of Cameron's Hey Ma. But it actually wasn't their characters. Director David Ayer was in the back seat, preparing to shoot written scenes for the pair, when they shared the song while getting to know each other, while his camera was rolling the whole time. Titanic James Cameron knew he had two one-of-a-kind stars and encouraged Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio to improvise a few times in the film. The best came when he told Winslet not to throw a hairpin at actor Billy Zane as planned, but spit right into his face. She did it, and Zane's very real reaction can be seen in the film. Ghostbusters There were plenty of comedy legends to choose from in the first Ghostbusters, but it's Rick Moranis who comes away as the most underrated. As the incredibly weird neighbor Lewis, the rambling lines and monologue given while hosting a party at his apartment were almost completely improvised, moment by moment. This is the end. The minds behind the movie claim that almost the entire shoot was improvised, and it shows. But the improv didn't actually need much to get off the ground. The scene involving the gang getting into a heated argument over a single Milky Way bar is 100% unscripted. Batman No portrayal will likely match Jack Nicholson's version of the Joker, a villain so weird you can't help but love it. Most of his lines were in the script, but Nicholson has admitted that his strange raspberry blow flying bird exit from Vicky Vale's apartment was complete improv, making us wonder where the script ended and the real Joker began. 
Gladiator. It's hard to forget the opening battle of Ridley Scott's Roman epic, but both he and star Russell Crowe knew that a quieter moment for Maximus was needed before the action started. The problem was, none had been written. While trying to come up with a solution, a bird decided to hop its way through the set. So Scott rolled the cameras, Crowe gave his reactions, and the rest is history. The Lion King. It isn't just live action actors who get to improvise either. When the time comes for Timon to cause a distraction to help Simba return to Pride Rock, actor Nathan Lane decided to add a joke suggestion of his own. What do you want me to do? Dress and drag and do the hula? It turned out that was a better idea than what had actually been planned, meaning Timon wound up doing exactly that. Alien. Ridley Scott wasn't afraid to use tough love in getting the best from Sigourney Weaver, making sure her co-stars really did slap her instead of faking it. But to truly put her on edge, he instructed actor Yafet Kato to interrupt all of her lines. By the scene following Dallas's death, she'd had enough, telling her co-star, not the actor, to shut up. We know it's using the air shafts. Will you listen to me, Parker? Shut up! The Dark Knight Rises. The villain Bane may have been terrifying, but you can't say that he didn't have a sense of humor or a softer side. But Bane's description of the young boy singing the national anthem at a Gotham football game was actually actor Tom Hardy's. That's a lovely, lovely voice. Improvised on the spot. Those are some of our favorite improvised or unscripted moments in classic movies. But which ones have we missed? Let us know in the comments. And remember, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.